Vintage cars are amazing. I love vintage cars because I'm vintage myself. I don't know if you call it vintage, maybe I'm just old. But it doesn't matter. We call it vintage because it's nice to say a man gets uh, better with the years, like a, like a wine. I don't feel like it, but it's okay. Obviously, when you're young, you're happy and you don't know about it. You, you, that's a problem with young people. You don't understand that you actually should be happy because when you look at the old man, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a discussion for another video. But vintage cars... If you talk about vintage cars, some people love vintage cars, but vintage cars are just collector's items. So it's not something that everybody will buy because you will buy it if you love to have something beautiful in your in your garage and you got first of all you got a spare garage, you want to keep something beautiful in your garage, something will cost you money every month because you have to maintain it, you have to start it, you have to you know make sure that there's not too many oil leaks, etc. So vintage cars are for the collectors only. Normal cars to drive every day. I mean, you must take a decision. So vintage cars, we treat them a little bit different. If I know that I've got a vintage cars coming in, I will call one of my collectors before I even give the money. I will call one of my collectors and I'll ask him, I, do you like a car like this? How much would you pay for a car like this? And after I'm satisfied that he's happy with his car and he'll pay me an amount, I'll offer a little bit less to the guy that come and, uh, and bring the vehicle. That's how we treat vintage vehicles. Normal vehicles, it's simple to say because we know from our experience how much money it costs, how much money we can uh, get for this particular car. You want to know more about pawn shop? You want to know more about vehicles? Just contact me. My name is Roy Peretz.